In this video, I will explain how to factor quadratic equations. Here is the form of quadratic equations, ax squared plus bx plus c. There are three steps. I'm gonna read over these steps and I will explain them while I'm doing the examples. So here is the first example, uh, first step, which we have to factor out the a value if it's possible. And then we need to find two numbers which their product is a, c, and their sum is the b value. And uh, once we find those two numbers, we put it into this form, x plus r, x plus s, we uh, plug in those two numbers for r and s. Let's do our examples. Here is the first one x squared plus 8x plus 15. So my a value is 1, my b value is 8, my c value is 15. In this case, my a value is 1, so I don't need to factor it out. So how do we proceed? Basically, we want to factor this quadratic. That means I want to rewrite it as a two bracket. I want to break it down into two brackets. So and these are st starting with x values always. I mean, if your variable is x and start with x values. So, and I have to find two numbers which their product is a, c. So let me draw this x. I'm looking for two numbers which their product is a times c, which is 15, and their sum should be the b value, which is eight. How can I find out those two numbers? So we write down the factors of 15, say 15 and one, and then two, it doesn't work, three, yes, three and five. Do I have any other factor? No, those are all of my factors for 15. So the first one, 15 and one, it doesn't work because 15 times one is 15, but 15 plus one is 16, not eight, that doesn't work. Five times three is 15, five plus three is eight, this one works. Those are my two numbers. And all I need to do is, to plug in those two numbers in this, into this bracket. So x plus five is one of them, and plus three is the other one. This is the factored form of this quadratic equation. Let's do another example. Take a look at this one, two x squared minus four x minus 30. My a value is two, my b value is negative four, my c value is negative 30. So in this case, I can factor out the a value because that's going to make, make it easier for me to factor out the whole thing. So let's do that. Factor out the two, I will be left with 2x squared divided by 2, that's x squared, minus 4x divided by 2, that's minus 2x, minus 30 divided by 2, that's minus 15. So I leave the two outside and I have to factor this expression now. So that's gonna give me two brackets, x, x, and I have to find those two numbers. What are those two numbers? How can I find those two numbers? Again, I draw my x. I'm looking for two numbers, which their product is a times c. And just uh, remember my a value is one. I factor out that too, so here I'm focusing on this inside the bracket, so my a value is one, not two. So one times negative 15, that's negative 15. Mm -hmm. And my b value is negative two. So what are those two numbers? Again, we have to find, uh, we have to write down the factors of 15, I mean negative 15, so it's gonna be negative 15 and one, or positive 15 and negative one. And then it can be five and three, that's negative, so negative five and three, or five and negative three. So which one of, of these two numbers work here? We have to look at our b value. So I'm looking for two numbers, which the product is negative 15, sum is negative two. Because the sum is a negative number, I know my bigger number should be a negative. So it should be this case or this case. Which one works? The first one doesn't work because negative 15 plus one, that's negative 14. Negative five plus three, that gives me negative two. So this one works. And negative five times three, obviously is negative 15. This one works. Those are my two numbers. So I plug in those two numbers into this bracket. 
So x minus 5 and x plus 3. These are, uh, this is basically the factored form, the factored form of this quadratic equations. So in my next video, I will explain the quadratic equations, which we are not able to factor out the a value. That's a different method. So I will explain on the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.